Hello great people, welcome back to Global Health Things. Today we're so excited to have you again. One of the things topmost in the mind of the legal team of Mazin Nambikano is to see him being released from DSS custody, at least on bail. But right now, the Archbishop of Ecclesiastical Province of the Niger and Bishop Diocese of Aka. An Amber State Most Reverend Alexander Ibezim has spoken about the month that Mazin Amdikano will be released. Quite a shocking one coming from this man. We'll get to know where he gathered this information from. But before we give you full details of that, I would like to encourage you to please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button and also on the bell icon so that you can get notification anytime we publish our videos. Now, according to the news, the Archbishop Ecclesiastical Province of the Niger and Bishop Catholic Adelsis of Alka and Number State, Most Reverend Alexander Ibezim, has declared the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo Mazinam Dekanu, will be released next month, which is May. He said God would touch the leadership of the country to release the IPOB leader to end the growing calamity in the Southeast. Ibezim spoke at the 2022 Oka Dalsetian Annual Prayer Call Convention with the team, This Mountain Shall Be Removed, at the premises of Paul University, Oka, a number state capital. He said, God has already given us a breakthrough. We are going to celebrate a breakthrough. We shall witness fantastic testimony and we are making a declaration that wherever Namdi Kano is, he will be released by this time next month. God will touch the leadership of Nigeria so that this calamity that is taking place in the East will end. By this time next month or any time in the month of May, he will be released and there will be peace in eastern Nigeria and a number of states. I am not a politician, but a prophet. And when a prophet speaks, things happen. Hmm. It is time that injustice ceases to exist in Nigeria. Injustice, killings, and calamities will cease in Southeast. Amen. And in Nigeria. Amen. I'm putting him in for the man. There are people that are pursuing what they are pursuing in order to gain attraction as a prophet. I don't need anybody to bribe me or influence me, but I believe that my people will be set free and there won't be war or destruction in this land. I answer for the man. Amen. He added, I need humility because, or we need humility because nobody is safe when the poor are not safe. The rich in our midst must do everything to ensure the safety of the poor. Otherwise, they won't be safe to enjoy their riches. So both the rich and the poor should cry unto God. Those were the words of the Archbishop, Ecclesiastical Province of Nigeria or Niger, uh, Most Reverend Alexander Ibezim. And, you know, this has uh, triggered a lot of reactions from Nigerians. Uh, because right now, these are the kind of prayer that we need, you know, to pray. Because, you know, according to the scripture, the Bible says that the hands of the king or the hearts of the king are in the hands of the Lord. Like water, he turned it to any direction he so desired. So, which means that by virtue of our prayer and communion with him, speaking to him, he can touch the hearts of the leader for them to release Mazin and Mikano, at least to see to it that there is peace in the land. Because just like most of the elders have said, ever since Mazin Namdikano was taken into DSS custody, this peace has ceased in um, Southeast. That's the truth. Ever since he was brought in, peace has ceased in um, Southeast. And, uh, you know, a lot of people too took advantage of the fact that he has been brought in to enjoy their criminality. That's, that's that's the part that angers. And why am I saying that? Because um, according to IPOP, they had called off a lot of things. You know, ESN has not been disturbing anybody. The only thing is that don't bring your cows into the southeast and begin to eat up our fruit and also take advantage of our women because we won't accept it. That's what they said. 
their duty is in the forest. And then here I brought freedom fighters looking for a way to secure at least a country of their own. But you know, there are some criminal elements. Anytime they see issues like this come up, they take advantage of it. They showcase their criminality. And not just the criminal. What I'm talking about those criminals, I'm not talking about, you know, those boys who take all manner of things and, you know, go around to do all manner of mayhem. I'm talking precisely about the politicians who are against, who are anti-productive. Just because they have not been given the privilege to rule a particular place, they make sure that they turn the peace of that place to something else by engaging these jobless boys, boys who are ready to work, but nobody to give them work. And we all know it that uh, uh, a heart that is not engaged is bound to be used by the devil. And that is the truth, especially for youth. If there's anything the government should do or what should be topmost in the list of uh, parity when it comes to, you know, uh, fast-tracking something like people, I think human resources should be the target because immediately you are able to empower human resources, especially youth, automatically you will see an offshoot, both in the revenues that are coming in, you're going to see a change in the economy, and at least crime rate will reduce to the barest minimum. But unfortunately, the government is not targeting it. I can't personally say I'm blaming Buhari for this because the state governors say are not doing what they are expected to do, you know. Imagine, for example, if you have something like security vote and you channel it to empowering your people, visible empowerment. I'm not talking about 55,000 naira empowerment. I'm talking about picking up someone, giving him adequate training on different uh, key uh, areas that will enable him them to work out something for themselves. And after that, you buy machines for them. You buy whatever they need. And then you see them very productive. Before you know, revenues are coming into your state. But that's not what is happening. These boys are idle, and before you know, these nefarious politicians who will pick them up and begin to use them to cause calamity all around. I pray God to hearken to the voice of his servant, even as he had declared it, because if there's anything Nigerians in totality really desire to see is the release of Mazin Amdikano. At least when he is released, he has a way of talking to them. He has a way of calming down things. I believe that they wouldn't have any grounds to carry out any kind of funny thing again. You understand? Let me just look at some of the reactions of Nigerian one or two. Someone here says... Sir, I am here to say amen to all your prayers because we are tired of the trouble that is going on in the Southeast. You can hear what someone is saying there. Another person here says, thank you very much, sir, for what you have said. We are hopeful that your prayer will manifest on that particular month. We are waiting to see God do the unbelievable for us, you see, people are really in sync with the prayer that was offered by the man because people really want peace. That's where we like to leave it. Go to our comment section. Do you think that come next month, based on the bell application in front of uh, Justice uh, Nyako, that Mazinam Dikado will be released? Let's interact in our comment section.